Hey folks, we're here at Country Sunrise Creamery in Myerstown, Pennsylvania, and looking at the silvopasture setup that um, was established here in spring of 2020, in March to be exact. And so here, the farm of Nelson Martin, it's a dairy farm, um, rotationally grazed. And what he's doing here is he's establishing trees that are gonna be for an orchard. So a mixture of apples, peaches, and plums, and Asian pears is the mixture that's going in here. And he's established these trees in such a way that he can continue grazing his livestock as per usual through this, through this paddock. It's about a three, three to four acre paddock. And there's about 150 trees in this area that we've planted. Um, so this allows him to get an orchard established. It's a pretty small orchard, um, and the orchard is going to be a pretty standard sized tree, so larger trees than your your the the dwarf rootstock that you often find in orchards these days. These are going to be tall trees that are going to be able to uh, be integrated into into a livestock operation for a good long time. Um, so there's no intention of taking the livestock out of here and just just mowing it or haying it. Um, the livestock are going to be here for a good long time. Um, there's 40 feet aisles between the rows, and that allows for plenty of space for the livestock to move through and for any equipment. You can see, you might be able to see from the video that he has drilled summer annuals into here. And so he had plenty of space to, to get in, do the drilling, turn around in between the rows. Um, so he's still able to get in and renovate his paddocks as well. Um, even with the trees established in here. So they're just they were just planting planted this March It is now August and you can see that many of them most of them in fact are sticking out above the tube So they're at least six foot tall So it's a neat opportunity for them to be able to establish a secondary enterprise onto their farm that fits well with their farm market um the farmer here has a number of kids that eventually would want to be able to have roles here on the farm. So this is a way to bring in enter, um, extra enterprises to the farm while he's maintaining the, the existing dairy enterprise. So that's it for this farm. If you have any other questions or comments, drop me a note and I'll be happy to try to answer them.